I'm going to spend a few minutes today talking about the Corning Cable Systems OptiSnap installation kit and connector. There are a couple of things about this toolkit system that makes it unique. It was really designed for tough installation conditions, especially things like fiber to the home deployments. So some things that we've built into this kit to make it easy for tough installation conditions and installations at the side of a house or in an apartment building is the ability for the operator or the installer to hang this kit on a surface and work directly out of it. That eliminates the need to set up work tables or tents or other time-consuming expensive equipment. We'll start with the connector installation and go through the process of that. So the first thing that we're going to do is load the connector body into the installation tool. There are a couple of things that are needed to complete the installation. It is a connector body, a boot, and a shroud. There's a couple of reasons that you load the connector in the tool to begin with. The first is that it's the best place for the connector to be. Once you remove the dust caps, you want to go into the installation tool, and that way everything is ready when you begin to prepare your fiber. So I simply load the connector in, slide our VFL adapter on, turn the power on, and close the door. At this point, your installation tool is ready to go, and you'll begin with your fiber preparation. The first thing that goes on the fiber is the boot. Once that's in place, you begin your stripping process. You want to remove about 40 millimeters of buffer material, and then the coating to expose the bare glass so that it's ready to go into the cleaver. An important step here is making sure that your fiber is clean. This ensures that you get a good cleave and a reliable termination. The fiber is now loaded into the handheld cleaver. There aren't any cumbersome fixtures or chucks that you have to deal with in this installation process. Again, everything here was kind of designed to be handheld so that the installer didn't have to have a work surface as they were on these tough installation conditions. So the fiber simply drops into the top of this cleaver. I'm aligning the edge of the buffer with the visual marks on the cleaver. I release the clamps and simply rotate the knob to activate the cleave. When the cleave is complete, I've depressed the bottom button to remove just the field fiber, and you'll notice that the scrap fiber is held into place. This is, this is good for safety concerns. If you are working inside someone's apartment or at the side of somebody's house, you don't want to take the chance in dropping a fiber scrap. So now that the field fiber is ready for installation, it's been stripped, cleaned, and cleaved, we're going to transition from the cleaver back to the installation tool. You simply take the cleaved fiber, position it into the lead-in tube, and insert all the way in until you feel it make contact with the connector on the inside of the installation tool. The most common thing that happens with mechanical splice connectors is that the installer makes good contact, but then they release that contact before they activate the splice. And one of the unique features of this tool is that if you don't make good continuity in the splice, the tool tells you via a red or a green LED light here. So at this point, the operator can see that they've done something incorrect. They have the ability to open the splice, make sure that the fiber is seated, recheck their cleave perhaps, and then activate the splice again, at which this point, the tool gives you a green light to let you know that you've made a good termination. So the installer walks away from the installation knowing that this connector was installed properly. The last piece is a mechanical crimp that happens on the back of the connector. A twist of that knob activates that. Then the operator simply unloads the tool from the top, place the installation tool back into the toolkit. They slide the boot into place, and the shroud goes on, and you've completed your termination. This concludes the installation of an OptiSnap connector on a 900 micron cable.